it was time for me to do something major. I wanted to put four songs together and drop a tape, like put out mm. a tape. So mm. I realized that, yo, I haven't been putting out a lot of content on my Instagram. So I was like, I can't just drop a tape like this and then don't, like, I have to, like, know, like, people understand what is coming. You mm. understand? So I, 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 I decided to make covers to songs. I did a cover to Reminiscence of um, Pomile. I did wow. covers. Yeah, I did, I did, I did a co cover to Pomile. I did a cover to two wow. previous two other songs then until i did a, a cover to so this song this song this song that i did the cover to this whiskey song it actually dropped on a friday i remember i recorded the song a day after it dropped the song dropped on a friday i went to my studio on a saturday that's the next day i made a cover to the song i posted it and on the sunday on the sunday that's the next day on that next day, I got a call from, from I mean, I got a message from Legend GB Mute. He teed me up. He's like, yo, your work is fire. Well, we, I'd like to work with you. Um, Give me your number. I'm going to hit you up. Wow. So I spoke to him. He told me that they were in Abuja at that time. And then when they got back to Lagos, that he was going to hit me up. So after like a what week What song two, was that? What song was it? DJ Jimmy Jazz featuring Whiskey O'Shea. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh shit. Yeah, so like I made I made I made the cover to that song. And when I, I remember when I met Wiz, so yeah, they didn't call me for like the first week. I remember I was hitting them up and everything. It was it was it was December, so it was the crazy It shows. was a busy time. Yes, yes, it was a busy time. So when they told me they spoke, they told me that you they've been busy and then they're gonna reach reach out to me when they got to Lagos. So when they got to Lagos they called me and then I was going to the house. And then he sent me an address. He just told me, come meet me up at the studio. I didn't know where I was going to. I didn't know whose place I was going to. So when I got outside the house, I saw I saw a G-Wagon. I seen, I'd seen that G-Wagon in a lot of Wiz's Instagram posts. And so I knew it was for Wiz. I'm like, okay, Wiz is probably in the Genji's studio making music. So I'm probably going to see Wiz. Oh, a good day. So yeah. when I knocked on the door, I opened the door. They opened the door. The first picture I saw was a picture of Wiz. I could see all the awards. I could see the foot smarts. It was Wiz. I'm like, Jesus, I'm in Wiz's house. It was crazy. I stood downstairs in the house because he was working. He was busy after the studio. I sat in the chair and I was, I was literally shivering like, oh my Were God. Were you the only one there? I, I was with my friends. Funny enough, I was with my friends. Four of us. I were like looking at each other like, God, I wish kid else we do. I'm on a whiskey kid else we do. That kind of vibe. So we're so we're so we're so shocked. Like we're so shocked. I didn't expect that. I thought I was just going to work with Mute. I didn't. So when I went upstairs, the house, that's the upstairs of the studio, I opened the door and the first person I saw was Whiskey in a casual Jalamia way. And the first thing he said was, Stare you bad guy. I found out. I said, Jesus. So this man knows my name. This guy knows my name. <laughs> he knows everything about me. Like I was it was a shock. And I, wore, I remember I wore a face cap. I wore a dead face cap. So he took me, so what's it really, so really weird now? <laughs> so no worry, you never, you never wear all this kind of thing again. No worry, I go there. Wow. Everything, everything on change. He gave me a huge, huge amount of money. That was the highest money I'd seen in my life. That, the money was so much that... Are I you for real? Yeah, that day he gave me so much money. I didn't go home to my house. I'm like, mommy, you know, I'm not coming over again. <laughs> I'm not coming over again. It was so much money. And then after he gave me that money... It took like two weeks. I was calling them because they were supposed to call me like the next day after I went. So mm -hmm. after that day, they didn't call me. I was wondering, did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? Didn't they like me? Did there was this like did something bad happen? One week, two weeks. I'm like Jesus. I really need to go to church now <laughs> to go pray. <laughs> I really need to go to church now to go pray. So I went. I went. Actually, it was actually on the Sunday. I actually got to church. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm going to pray. I went on the altar. I said, like, God, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? That's this that boy, please. This people need. This people need to call me. This people need to call me. So when I go back to, from church, I didn't go home. I went from church to my studio. I remember I was telling my guys like, "Yo, I'm tired, man. These guys have not called me for like two weeks, and I don't know what's happening." Wow. So I remember I, I left my phone in the studio, and then I went outside the house to pee. And then when I came back in the house, my guest was like, yeah, 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 Alpha, you know, we just call you now. I said, ooh, it's a mute, like, I be mute. I'm like, for real? I, just, I was just trying to call him back and I got a, a text and he's like, um, do you want to come to the house today? Pull up if you can. Please come alone. I'm wow. like, because and then I realized that the first time I went, I went to too much people. Too many like, men. 
<laughs> we have to be like five. So I could, I got the dream. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna go with anybody. I'm just gonna go with my the guy that's gonna take me. So when when I got to the house, I met Wiz. That was for the second time I met Wiz. It was doing this pedicure downstairs the house. He's like, yo, um, Legend GB Mute is upstairs, and um, we'll be making music. And I want you to go listen to one. I just recorded something. I want you to go listen to it. And I was like, wow. You know when Whiskey says go listen to his song, I'm like Jesus. I was telling my guys, guys, do you guys think I can do this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them were like, all of them were like, yeah, 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 guy, yeah, just, just do it, like free your mind. So when I got in the studio, like Angie Mimuti just played me the song, and it was, it was soccer. It was the, it was the, it was the hook and the chorus of soccer. And I was listening to it. I'm like God. And then Whiskey Whis just came to the studio and he's like, yo, bro, do something. And then he was right, he sat right beside, he sat right behind me. Pressure. And I was like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to do it. Then he, I think he noticed that I was, I was, I was a bit pressured. So he stood up and he left the studio. And in like 20 minutes, when he go back to the studio, I had already, already done the verse. And then he just came to the studio. When he opened the door to the studio, he just, like NGB Mute was dancing to it. And he was really like shouting like, hey, this is mad. And then I was like, for real, is this mad? Like I was trying, I was asking my friends, like I didn't know. Like I was like, bro, it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, bro, this is you go mad, mad. I said, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, well, so I went home. And when I went home, I didn't go to the, they didn't call me. Nobody called me. I was I was home again for like two weeks. I mean I was ginger. It was already like one month that I met Whiskey. I'm like, yo, I'm not supposed to be in this place again. I'm supposed to I moved. I'm supposed to be so I moved. So it was really like I was like I was purged. I'm like, okay, yeah. I just went online one day. I just saw it, an artwork. Whiskey posted an artwork. I saw my name on the artwork. Terry. I saw Cesar I saw Spotless. I didn't know who they were. I didn't know Cesar mm. I only knew Susan really like because like, he was dropping music before then, but I didn't know Spotless. Yeah. I had no idea who Spotless was. Spotless was. So I'm like, uh uh. I thought this song was supposed to be me and Whiskey's song. So why are these people on this song? So... <laughs> I was like, so why are these people on this song? But then I went, and then again, then again, I went to the house. Then I heard the full song. I was telling my guys, because I went with my guy, I'm like, yo, do you guys think my verse and it was hard? They were like, yeah, yeah, it's hard, but I mean, these other verses are hard too, but it, your verse. Each verse, mm. each verse on that record was, was, was fire, yeah. So they were like, yeah, if, I mean, all those, those other verses are hard, but yours, yours is very hard. I'm like, okay, no problem now. Bro, on the day the song comes out, everybody like on Twitter, everybody Terry, 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 who's Terry, who's Terry? This Terry is lovely. This Terry blow. Everybody, I'm like, yo, I'm in my house. I'm like, guy, this thing that we did in 20 minutes is going mad. Like, and lo and behold, it became like I think it's, it's still the biggest Afrobeat song. Like, like it's, Agu, it's one Agu, of the most incredible yeah, records, man. Af Afrobeat songs of all time. I'm, I'm grateful. For, I'm grateful. I feel like it's God, it's grace. Like everything that happened is divine. Like, cause like mm -hmm. people, people. There are a lot of people that make videos online and tag with every day. There are a lot of people that make better videos actually. Like a lot better videos, more musical and everything. Mm. But like they never get noticed. And me, I, I make a video, I get noticed, I go to the house, the biggest song of the year was being recorded. I was told to jump on it. I jumped on it, became massive. Like it was all it was all divine and I, I thank I thank God I thank God for, for everything. Absolutely. So when did it become official that Terry was gonna be star boy Terry? I mean, Wiz, 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 Wiz told me from the first day he met me that he was going to, that I was already, I was a star boy and that mm. uh, my name is, he asked me what my name was, what name I wanted to use. I told him Terry. He asked me, like, yeah, Terry, you want to use your real name? Yeah, I told him I was just going to take off the Y and put the I. He's like, okay, yeah, no problem, fine. Then I got my name. I already knew my name was going to be Terry. And when the artwork came out, it was Terry. So I already knew, okay, it was going to happen. But the, the, the contract, like, the signing didn't really happen until after the soccer song absolutely so, like after two weeks after soccer we got the contract done and it was it was it was was great he, was he was there a situation where you had to go and meet the boss and sit down and and did you guys did he kind of like talk to you about the industry the yes he, 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 he told me he, he told me he told me he told me he told me take a look at my, my myself everywhere everything that i've been or everything that I am today, I go here with no hype, no force, 
no false hype, no no going around and giving false news or trying to be in the news or nothing. I got here Just by I got here by hard work. I have Facts. heat. Look downstairs. I have I have I have a shelf full of awards. Facts. There are so many awards that I don't even like to see. There are so many awards. Awards don't even matter. There are so many awards that are turned down. I want you to be big enough to the point that you turn down, you look at it like you just look and say, oh, I don't want to, like, I don't, not like you're, you're turning it down, literally yes. just saying like, yo, it's one of those awards, like, okay, just keep it, like, you don't, don't even, focus on it, you don't focus on it. Exactly, like, yourself. you don't focus on it, like, it's, it's happening, like, it's just a normal thing, like, be big enough to where, to to the point where you, you get called for an award and you're like, oh, thank you, congratulations, but man, I mean, it doesn't make you, you don't have to throw a party because you're winning an award, because it's just one of the things, one of those things. Put out music when you put out music people are going to always find good music he told me that so i knew from from the beginning that mm. it was and from the beginning he told me you're never going to have any assistance in the studio it's always going to be you from the beginning from the day yeah. i met from that from that from the first week we met after soccer i had a session with killer chains in the house he, he told me he put, put me downstairs in the studio downstairs he told me go record and i just wanted to just keep on making music and on the first day of the, mm. I was recording the song. I was recording the song. STG was actually recording me downstairs, and he could hear from upstairs. And he just came down. He's like, "Yo, Terry, this is fire. I'm gonna jump on this." And that was the first song he jumped on. He just told me, "Give me the mic," and he recorded the full verse on the song that I was recording. All of that was just inspiration to me. Like I could really mm. come from nothing to be mm. in this house, make music that is strong enough for Wiz to be like, "Yo, I want to jump on that." I I knew how hard it was to get Wiz on the song even before I got signed. I could see mm. like I. Could to tell how people crave for bro, bro whiskey verse is like the holy grail yes, mm -hmm. you know people they they you know people still looking for that verse right yeah. now yeah you know, yeah it's, so it's it was it was important. huge it was huge for him to come down and want to jump on my song i'm like wow like it was it was it was great for me like it was he didn't have to say much after all that happened it was mm. just like yo i could just i could tell from the story it was real. Nothing was... You could just see it. I mean, like, I was in the house every time I was going to the house and Wiz was always in the studio. I'm like, this same man that is supposed to be probably chilling. My guy was switching producers every... From this producer to another producer. On the same day, like, about four different producers. I'm like, wow, this is the way to go. This is what you have to do. And, I mean, like, uh, all of that is what I'm taking and I'm putting like, into myself. I don't think... 